Hi everyone, I'm Girish and today I'm going to show that how we can create animated percentage graphics in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this graphics will be looking like this. So once you click on um, this particular uh, slide, you are going to have the first uh, percentage slide where you can see uh, the first quarter result. Then on second click, you can see the second one. And on third, you are going to see the third uh, percentage. And finally, the fourth one. You can use this beautiful uh, infographics uh, to show the project status. For each quarter, you can show the performance of individuals or teams. Even you can um, you can use this particular uh, to you know increase or decrease the efficiency of a group or a person. So without wasting time, let's get started. So just to create it, we are going to insert a new slide. I'm going to take it blank. So let me use this blank one. And now I'm going to copy these three because these colors are going to help us while we create the same kind of, uh, you know, infographics. And uh, let's start. Uh, we need to go to design. Then we are going to make format background here. And we need to take background color. And I'm going to use eyedropper. And I'll select this one, the first one. And need to click on this. So this is the background color we are going to use here. And now I'll I'll uh, you know insert uh, the particular uh, percentage slide. So we need to go to insert. We need to go to shape. And finally, we are going to use this one, uh, which is known as uh, if you go here, it is known as block arc. So we need to click here, and we need to just draw. A arc make sure that we are going to change this to this because it, it always accept our uh, data from this point so we need to use this and because we have already taken percent as a 75 so we need to increase this till 75 so without wasting time let's increase the 17 so that seems uh, till 75 that seems perfect Let's put it here. And now we are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to use this as, you know, uh, we are going to change the color of this. So we are going to uh, first save outline, no outline, save fill. We are going to use eyedropper and we are going to click on this color. This is the color I used in uh, my first slide. So this, this is the same color I will be using. Then I'll go to shape effect and I'll go to shadow and let's go to shadow option. And uh, let's increase the transparency by one. And that seems perfect. That is what I was looking for. So no requirement to make any changes now. What I, what I can do is uh, this is like our first uh, particular point. We are going to put for 75. Let's use make a copy of this. So we are going to do uh, control D. So this would be like the duplicate and we need to increase to 80. So that would be like 80 for us because that was 75. So that would be 80. Then we are, to con uh, we are going to make another copy for this. Then we are going to do control D and we'll make it to 90. Yeah, that seems 90. And finally, we are going to make another copy. That would be the fourth one. And we'll increase it to 99%. So this is this is like the four point we were looking for. So select all these. Go to arrange. Go to align. Align middle. Arrange. Align and distribute horizontally. So this is like the perfect uh, shape I was looking for. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take these point from here because you can add these pretty easily. You can just add uh, mention these, but I just don't, don't want to make waste my time. So I'm going to copy these. 
and I'm going to paste all these here. And maybe we can, yeah. Okay, that seems perfect. Okay, so this is the percentage we were looking for. And finally, we can use these as well. So this is, um, this is quarter one, this is quarter two, this is quarter three, this is quarter four. We can do control C and we can do control V. So this is like our uh, quarter four data. Perfect. Now the only part we are uh, missing is just uh, adding uh, the animations. So that seems pretty easy. Let's do it. But before that, we can just copy this particular animated percentage chart and we can paste it here. Okay. So now we are done. First, we need to go to animation pane, then go to animation, animation pane. And because we have copied from the first slide, so we need to remove all these animations. Perfect. So let's animate this particular image first. So what we are going to do, we need to select it and we are going to use wheel animation. So that seems perfect. This is the result I was looking for. Let me show the preview. Okay, so that seems pretty perfect. Now we are going to use after this effect, we are going to uh, get these number and these number. So let's select this. And we are going to animation again and we'll use wipe animation. And we use with previous and we'll uh, use increase this by 2.25 and make a delay by 25 seconds. Okay, so what happened is uh, it will increase the time by 2.5% uh, by 2.5 second and we are going to have make animation for this again we will use wipe and we'll use wipe option here and with previous and we'll increase this by 2.25 and delay would remain same let's see it how we are going to get this so so this is like the first one okay so that seems perfect that is what i was looking for we can do the same here just go here and make it wheel okay and now we are going to uh, animate this again we'll go to uh, wipe will increase to 2.25 and make a delay point 25 and with previous same goes here we are going to wipe and we'll increase this to 2.25 second and with previous so that seems perfect finally we'll come to third one and again we'll go to wheel and uh, now we'll select this one and we'll make wipe animation and this would be like uh, 2.25 percent and delay would remain 0.25 percent and finally we are going to do this one and it would be like wipe again will increase to 2 with previous finally the fourth one we are going to make wheel and we'll in, uh, make animation for this as well so let's do wipe and increase the time for and make finally the fifth one last one so we are going to make wipe again and we'll increase the time by 2.25 with previous again we need to make it with previous so that seems pretty perfect let's run it we need to click on this start from this slide so this is what we have earlier now I'm going to click here. This is your first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And finally, we are going to have the fourth one. I hope you like this. If you like this, do not forget to subscribe this channel. And if you have any comments or any feedback for this, just drop a message. Thank you. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in next video. Thank you.